Hello everyone, Maurice saying here, welcome to Tanks Invest, where we're going to be talking about investing, finance, and professional development. For today's video, it's for entertainment purposes only. The investments we're going to talk about today, you'll be Ethereum, ticker ETH. I should now cross the board for Ethereum. For the last two weeks so far, it's been selling off significantly from the top at $4,383. Now it's been selling off down to about like the $3,300 level. And with respect to the consolidations that we've been experiencing right now, it seems that we've been breaking the resistance level now is shifting more of a downward trend going forward dip below the three thousand four hundred dollars level which we actually tested somewhere around the may 6 time period so i'm gonna go through a technical analysis just to look at based on the chart right how is how are investors thinking about this psychologically right based on the public supply and demand appetites also looking at the outtrends or uh, where i see the next resistance level going from here in case you want to be buying into ethereum if you want to think about this as a long-term investments and my price target for year in 2021 as well so stay tuned stick around and let's make some money All right, so moving on to the technical analysis, you could see that on the annual perspective for Ethereum ticker ETH, since last couple months uh, in February or somewhere like early February, we were trading around like the $1370 level and ever since then we basically quadruple and currently we basically triple from there. And with respect to the trend line, we were basically trending according to plan uh, ever since the beginning of the year. All the way until the point where you see here at the point of April 25th, uh, and this was the time around like the massive media affectation with respect to the NFD adoptions, with respect to the Ethereum 1.0, 2.0, uh, with respect to like the Coinbase IPO, and also with respect to just Bitcoin being adopted, you know, across the world, and knowing the fact that Ethereum is the secondary or like the silver. Uh, to Bitcoin as, as Bitcoin is considered to be gold that people thought you know Ethereum is cheaper and has a probably much higher growth potential that subsequently drove this increase of pump uh, you know and I would say this is mainly driven by public investors euphoria uh, in demand for this which subsequently drove the stock not the, the stock the price from right here at the $2,300 level to four thousand three hundred dollars level that was a two thousand dollars gain and you can see the green candles are not really a major uh was not any like anything big you know and this represents a lot of retail investors buying on a daily basis on a weekly perspective uh and you could see that at one point there was a well institutional investors that bought in uh that subsequently uh bought in that provide more more of a momentum push on the retail investors and subsequently one of the big well has dumped but by that when that dumped a big retail investors bought in and subsequently drove this dump and ever since then when we hit that peak back in may 12 which was basically uh not even a week ago we sold off significantly right and the reason we are selling off significantly and this is something that i talked about in my last video is that Based on the trend that you see here, the trend is so is is so out of the reach right now. Is forming a significant outlier in this form of a gap, and right now we are basically retesting and reactualizing on what a normal course of cadence, a commodity price and equity price or any investment opportunities have to be traded based on normal cadence. Right, so right now we're basically retesting this level of consolidation, which you can see right here at the three thousand five hundred dollars level, which was the resistance level that we formed in early May. However, you could see that the the red candle subs like enormously pushed, and this was sold by institutional investor that subsequently have some bought back from, from like retail investors. But ever since that, you could see that the red candle is starting to form right and this is a worrisome thing that, that that we're seeing right now if you're buying ethereum at the moment is that the red candle or the green can the top of the green candle is actually below what the original consolidation level was that means this is showing a lower low right if this is showing a lower low that means this is a bearish chart okay so and on top of that because of the you know the wedge that we're forming the reverse wedge that we're forming 
And with respect to the gap that we need to fill all the way here, you know, this is basically uh, 3000 all the way to the $2,600 level. So like almost like a $1,000 gap. It needs to be filled for us to continue to go back up, right? So based on the how it looks right now, this is definitely a very bearish chart. Uh, you could see that the MACD has crossed downward. So it's not, it's, it's crossed downward recently as well. That means we have more to sell off to. Looking at the RSI, despite it's being like oversold at the moment, which makes sense because we look at the daily chart, right? We did oversold because of this major red candle, despite this little green candle of people buying in, thinking that this is the, the dip, basically. But I think the dip is not over yet, right? Because of the fact that, again, right, the consolidation level is not matching with the consolidating level that we're forming. The secondary consolidated level is below the original one means that is a downward escalator downward escalator means bad bad investment <laughs> if you buy it now and on top of that the macd is telling you the full story that is short and there's a way to go before you cross back up right so and with respect to the gap is one thousand dollars going down so the first resistance level that we need to look out for would be currently and i think the possibility of us breaking that is pretty high i would say it's like 50 50 right now i would even say like 60 40 or 70 30 at the moment in terms of like breaking through this and at the same time i think that the next level of resistance right level right is going to be at the 2596 or 2600 dollars level which is a good flat number just to watch out for i think if we get to that number i think that that will be a perfect scoop for me to buy up um, and that's a strong level of resistance forming the basically, you know, how the trend has been going. And the trend has been going, if you look at it, it's been forming for, you know, a couple months so far, right? And if I draw this out all the even more, you could see that the line can be even more steep if I, if I stretch this more. Okay, so if you look at this real quick, you could see that, um... You can see that the line for this right here, there's also a secondary gap, right? So if we go down here and we don't test this level, right? And we break through that level at the $2,200 level, you know, after breaking the secondary resistance level of the 2400 the further down on the third resistance level is going to be going back down to here. If you talk about like the six months out resistance level, it's going to be at the $2,000 $2, level, which again, right, another strong resistance level, right? So so four resistance level to look out for. One is current resistance level, 3,300. Secondary resistance level is gonna be, like again, right, the 2,400, which we tested once. If we break that all the way down, we will be at the $2,100 level, okay? And this will take a rock to break through because this line has basically formed since basically last year in December around Christmas time and the trend has been riding accordingly it's definitely if you look at this on more of an annual perspective it's definitely a bullish chart obviously because of that of the fact that we have like basically you know multiply exponentially but in near term perspective definitely a very bearish trend and we need to breach this fix this gap and the gap will be formed uh, I promise you uh, that it needs to be filled before it could continue to run the course of nature if that makes any sense going forward all right so just to recap on all the numbers that we talked about in the quantitative analysis for ethereum i think the price point right now um you know that we're trading at like the 3300 i think we are gonna breach that knowing the fact that again right we broke the resistance level and we form a lower lows uh, in a downward escalator trend so the likelihood of us like getting back down to the trend line that we had the $2,600 level will be the first resistance level that, that we've formed right in the basically the last three months trend right if we break that three months trend we'll go down to the six months trend which will get all the way down to the the flat number the two thousand dollars level which is a strong psychological resistance level knowing the fact that's a flat number that investors look at right that will be another form of attractive price point for you to get into but if we break that look at more of an annual perspective the 52 weeks average chart i think eighteen hundred dollars level will be will be unlikely but it's possible knowing the fact that it's so volatile right 
and Ethereum, Bitcoin, and all the different cryptocurrencies assets are not really traded based on utilization anymore or at all ever. It's really been being traded based on supply and demand. And supply and demand for something that mythical, if you may, right? For cryptocurrencies, which is still a relatively new transformative technology going forward. That is purely being traded on human emotions at the moment. And based on what we see in the human emotions chart, the technical analysis, uh, 1800 would be unlikely. That would just require a lot of depression, a lot of freaking out. Um, to the extreme bipolar level across the spectrum for a lot of institutional investors on the corporate level side and also retail investors. So 1800 unlikely, 2000, you know, kind of 50-50, 2600, 70-30% in terms of ratio uh, of possibility perspective. Year end, $5,000, like again, in my previous video, 93% of an upside, 1.9 or two times your money from here, which is, you know, I think it's doable based on how we're trending so far, knowing the fact that we did test it 440 bucks already, you know, just like a couple days ago, right? Or a week ago or so. Um, so definitely bullish on the long term, but definitely, you know, for it to get to $10,000 someday for Ethereum, I, which is something that I think Wall Street or one of the investors uh, that's on the corporate level has predicted. But I'm going to be more conservative, knowing the fact that whatever goes up really fast, it takes probably double or triple amount of time for us to get back to the level, knowing the fact that we did sell off so significantly already, that $5,000 six months from now, or like basically by the end of this year, possible. And I think that's pretty doable based on the reversals that we should be expecting to see once we hit that level of 2600 All right, so that's it for today with respect to Ethereum on my technical analysis. I uh, really appreciate you guys for dropping by. Please hit the like button, the subscribe button, also that notification bell. And please look out for my next video. Really appreciate it. Thank you.